In 1932, Mussolini said this of a fascist state, it leaves the individual adequate elbow room. It has curtailed useless or harmful liberties while preserving those which are essential. In such matters, the individual cannot be the judge, but the state only. For over a year, the government has chosen for you what liberties are useless and harmful, and those that you may have. For over a year, we've been fed mixed messages, questionable data, and seen all manner of rhetoric used to get our compliance. No more, America. It's past time that we stood up, raised our voices, and told the government no. Our nation's history is rooted in rebellion, rooted in vigorous debate, rooted in protest. We dumped our once favorite beverage into a harbor over taxes. Imagine if those who paved the way for this great nation had been told that their work was non-essential. We're seeing protests, even riots, break out in cities across the world. Australia looks like 1984 has become their constitution, and it's seeing its citizens pour out into the streets. The French, who we ridiculed after 9-11 by pouring out wine and renaming French fries to Freedom Fries, even calling them surrender monkeys, are marching in city after city. Even England, the very country we left and fought against for our independence is ahead of us in demanding their freedom. This isn't about your safety, it's about your freedom. Anyone who wants a vaccine is free to get one. Anyone who wants to wear a mask is free to do so. Anyone who wants to socially distance has that choice. You might think things aren't even that bad. Maybe the mandates are good, that we're a long way from tyranny. But the question you have to ask yourself is if not now, when? I say now. Now we tell the government, elbow room is not enough. Raise your voice, America. Raise it loud.